Oh, y'all don't know what Josh McDaniels really did to Aaron Hernandez? Wait, they don't know what happened with Aaron Hernandez and Josh McDaniels. All right, y'all talk to me right now. Because I'll go on, I'll go on a podcast about that. If y'all don't know what happened, what really happened with Aaron Hernandez, y'all thought Aaron Hernandez killed himself in jail? Y'all thought Chico killed himself in jail? Y'all thought my nigga Chico killed himself in jail? <laughs> oh. Oh man, so all pro defense and Chandler Jones is having a rough time now. After hearing what's going on with him, either you're a follower of conspiracy theories or a strong believer in CTE, a brain injury that's been plaguing a lot of football players as they enter middle age. But Chandler Jones, he recently revealed that he was released from a mental hospital after being taken against his will, but that came after him targeting the Las Vegas Raiders front office on social media since the beginning of September. Chandler claims that he has to be been allowed to be with the team or even use the gym for a workout and instead of telling him why he says the team reached out to his baby mama he then went to expose what he's claiming to be the reason why he's been dismissed he stated that he became aware of a child allegedly his goddaughter being sa and since he knows the team wants nothing to do with them they don't want him around there now that's when Jones claimed he was admitted into the mental health hospital against his will. He wrote a note in a composition book and posted it online explaining how the conditions were horrible for high profile athletes and him being forced to take injections against his will and the Raiders GM not answering his call to let him know if he was the reason that Jones was admitted. After being released from the mental hospital, Jones continued to take shots at head coach Josh McDaniels by saying, get McDaniels the foot out of Las Vegas and continuing to emphasize how he loses $1 million for every game he doesn't play. Now this all led to today, where Jones was on Twitter live and broke down in tears while speaking on his homeboy Aaron Hernandez and Josh McDaniels. Follow what you want, I'm by a fire. Are the owners and GMs being racist around you? No, they're not being racist around me. They're not, they call me to their office. They call me to their office, I say I smile with them. Mark Davis always called me, he say, I don't go to Mark Davis' office, but when I see him, oh, let me tell y'all about Mark Davis. So when I got hurt last year, when I hurt my elbow, I hurt my elbow, right? And I told Mark Davis in the locker room, I'm like, I really want to play for you. I really want to play, like I'm hurt, but I can't, I can't practice right now, I can't play. Cause I got hurt in the Pittsburgh game. I hurt my elbow the Pittsburgh game. This nigga Mark Davis gonna come up to me in the locker room wearing all white, cokehead ass nigga, thinking he godly, I'm God. Stop, don't stop me. My dog trying to stop me. This nigga come up to me in all white talking about something. We know where your heart is. So I get what that mean when you say we know where your heart is. That, that basically mean like Mark Davis is a Russian. He and ISIS. Listen, Mark Davis going to say we know where your heart is. So he was kind of trying to say like, oh, like I know you mean well by not playing. I know you hurt. But I, everybody know when if a nigga, if a slave master said we know where your heart is, we know what that mean. He going to tell me that in the locker room. Yeah, we do need to be in a podcast. I'm not cooking. I'm out here with my dog. What am I? I'm not cooking. I'm out here with my dog. What am I cooking? What drugs am I? Look, my dog, my fire, firewood. My dog, my fire, firewood. Facility. I wish I was at the Raiders facility. I wish I was playing. I wish I could play with the Raiders right now, but they got me doing this on, on live. Stop bringing up Devontae Adams. Stop bringing up names. Hunter Renfro. Where Hunter Renfro at? Where Hunter Renfro at? That's, that's my nigga. Nothing against Tay. But Hunter Renfro gave me good vibes. Hunter Renfro gave me good vibes. Hunter Renfro gave me good vibes. <laughs> I wish I was on the Raiders right now. But they got me doing this instead of playing. Why they make me do this instead of play for the Raiders? And I'm and I'm saying. And my followers going bonkers. Nah, Chandler. You're spitting facts. That's cooking. Derek Carr, Vince Woodford, all good with McDaniels. McDaniels be doing coke. I think McDaniels had them niggas fucking my baby mama and they scared of me. McDaniels had them niggas fucking Sahara, doing something to Sahar. Sahar Samad. McDaniels had them doing something to her. And that's why all the niggas on the team scared of me. I don't want y'all niggas to be scared of me. I don't. 
But if y'all niggas was being malicious towards my baby mama, she gonna have to handle that. Cause she powerful now. <laughs> John Gruden. John Gruden lives in Deuce Gruden. John Gruden right in our rate room. John Gruden right in our rate room. We don't gotta bring him back. He might have said them emails, he might not, I don't know. But John Gruden lives right in Deuce. Deuce Gruden, number two. Deuce means two, Illuminati. <laughs> that means he can body jump. John Gruden right in the weight room. John Gruden is right in the weight room. Hey, Black, that's okay. John Gruden is right in the weight room. He could see, he's a spy right in there every day. He could see what's going on. We don't need to hire him. I fuck with him. Deuce, my guy. Deuce, you know you my guy. Panda, panda, panda. Yeah, I didn't say McDaniels. McDaniels had my big man. McDaniels had my baby mama raped and my and my stepdaughter molested. McDaniels had my stepdaughter molested. That's why I went crazy. I didn't even go crazy. I wore a hoodie one day like a Muslim. I wore a hoodie one day like a Muslim. All I do is wear a hoodie one day like a Muslim, and they said he going crazy. <laughs> I wore a hoodie one day like a Muslim. <laughs> I wore a hoodie one day. I wore a, and, his, and his neighbor over here be giving me dirty looks. Now he want to pull off. He want to give me dirty looks. Now he stopped. Hey, I wore a hoodie. I wore a hoodie one day like a Muslim, right? Because <laughs> I got Muslim friends. I wore a hoodie one day like a Muslim. And they said, what's wrong with Chandler? He's not like himself. He need to see a psychiatrist. We got to get him on pills. <laughs> How you doing? No more dirty looks? No more dirty looks, neighbor? No more dirty looks? Oh. That's what I thought. You all right? Yeah, you want to see me? Come have a come have a bowl of gumbo with me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, that's what I thought. Go ahead. Go go ahead. I'm protecting you. I'm protecting this neighborhood. I'm here for you. I'm here for you, sir. Well, we can have some gumbo at my house if you want. Okay, you don't eat gumbo, cool. I, hey, I come in peace, Yahweh. I come in peace. I'm, I'm, when, I, when you see me walking through here with my dog, we trying to protect you. We here to protect you. Okay, okay, okay. All right, no, no, you don't gotta say sorry. I, you just gave me dirty looks the other day, so I just wanna let you know I come in peace, but we can have some gumbo if you want. Okay, black, sit. Stay right there. Eat his ass up if he come over here. If he get out of his car, you eat his ass alive. How you doing? Yes. My name my name Chandler Jones. I'm, I play for the Raiders. Well, I want to play for the Raiders. No, I didn't even see that. You had you, you have a white truck right here? Is that you? Yeah. Oh, you had a neighbor that had a white truck. That was it was a white pickup truck. Okay. Never mind. Forget it then. My bad. Oh, Maybe no, he I, moved. I just heard this. I uh, saw you there. And I was like, what's going on? Okay, no, no, I'm sorry, but I apologize. There's somebody living in that white house right in this house right here with a white truck. He's been making faces. I told him I'm, I'm coming in peace. A white truck right here. So it's like a Ford Explorer. If I if I see it again, I'll take a picture. God bless you. God bless you. The spirit of the Lord is with us. But come on, Black. He not, he not too friendly. Have a good one, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Luke Skywalker. <laughs> we can have a little bowl of gumbo. Ziggler ain't talking. Are you going back home? I saw you pulling up behind me. Don't you do that. Okay, nah. Don't pull up behind me. That's how you get popped. Don't do that. Don't pull in my shit. Get gone. Be the scram. Nigga pull up in my shit. Like, you don't, 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 don't try to spook me, bro. I got eyes in the back of my neck, nigga. I'm trying to spook me. Talking to somebody. I just want to see you. I should walk to that nigga house. <laughs> Bro, come on. <laughs> I just want to see you. <laughs> you can get a full clip, not a sound bite. <laughs> you can get a full clip, not a sound bite. Let me get off of this. <laughs> you could get a full clip out of sound bite. This shit fun. Huh? So any kind of bad thoughts that he have, you're gonna clean them vibes out. 
We're gonna clean them vibes out. We're gonna clean them vibes out. Let's clean the vibes, black. Let's clean the vibes, black. <laughs> Let's clean the vibes, black. No more bad vibes. No more bad vibes. And I want the Illuminati to see it. <laughs> that's why I bring light to it. The nigga that's above, a nigga that's above the Illuminati. A nigga that's above the Illuminati. I'm above all of that shit. That's why Dana White scared of me. <laughs> that's why Dana White scared of me and Lorenzo scared of me. He owned, he owned the UFC. And Mr. Kraft scared of me. Think about this. Every time I lead a team, every time I leave a team, the owner walks the whole field and shake my hand. Look it up. When I got traded from, from when I got traded from the Cardinals, when I got traded from the Patriots to the Cardinals, Robert Kraft walked the whole fucking field and shook my hand. Got a picture. When I got let go from the when I got let go from the from the Cardinals to the, and I went to the Raiders, Michael Bidwell walked the whole field. Michael Bidwell walked the whole field and came to the end of the, to where I was at warming up and shook my hand. Almost like, almost like the president. Almost like they said, "Oh, let me pass this off to the president." <laughs> They're trying to pass a torch off to the President Obama. They're trying to pass a torch off to the President Obama. President Obama and, and uh, imagine, imagine if President Obama somehow could body jump. Imagine if President Obama could somehow body jump and jump into my body. Or Aaron Hernandez. Oh, y'all don't know what Josh McDaniels really did to Aaron Hernandez? Wait, they don't know what happened with Aaron Hernandez and Josh McDaniels. All right, y'all talk to me right now. Because I'll go on, I'll go on a podcast about that. If y'all don't know what happened, what really happened with Aaron Hernandez, y'all thought Aaron Hernandez killed himself in jail? Y'all thought Chico killed himself in jail? Y'all thought my nigga Chico killed himself in jail? <laughs> oh. <laughs> After that live, Jones claimed on his Twitter that Josh McDaniels had his twin Aaron Hernandez unalive at industrial park not in jail see his ig for details i checked his ig i didn't see anything on there so uh we'll have to see what happens later but as of now man in case you guys didn't know josh mcdaniels was going to be a potential witness in the aaron hernandez murder trial prosecutors wanted to question mcdaniels about the meaning of aaron hernandez tattoos alleging that the defendant sent a text message to mr mcdaniels showing him another tattoo that he received at the same time from the tattoo artist david nelson with the letter c BS, WBS, IWBTG. They expected McDaniels to testify as to the meaning of those letters. Well, folks, let me know, man, which one of y'all believe in? Do you think this is some serious mental health issues? And that's why the Raiders say that he isn't with the team at this moment. But um, you can also be thinking what Chandler Jones is claiming to be true. And I'm going to let you know what I say, man. With this industry, with so much money involved, you never know. Because either or can be possible. Money can make you crazy or make people do crazy things. I don't know. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, though. This has been another update with Stace. Yo.